is are there kind of like projects that you could create yourself you could you know like create like uh you know an action plan for a dev team or something that you could show like you know i've thought about this i have the skills to do this in a theoretical way even if i don't have a, a company that's asking me to do it yet like do you have any advice for for sort of showing competence even if you haven't sort of entered uh the job space yet Yes. So um, in that case, I would I would warmly recommend to look for open source projects. I mean, assuming mm -hmm. that you already learned that, those skills, what you right, can okay. do is, I mean, I know that at least on our side, when uh, when the CTO, the head of engineering, when they want to hire developers, mm -hmm. uh, they just look at their GitHub profile. Okay. Yeah. They're trying yeah. to figure out what they contributed. Can be code, can be pull requests, can be, you know, issues that they created. Uh, that's a very equal prod, uh, very equal uh, uh, resume to the one that you may have on LinkedIn. Yeah, even better because it shows your competent, hands on. Like you, you can actually sort of follow the trail. Exactly, which is mm -hmm. which is like if you really want to get into this, go to open source projects, even um, those that are not security projects, mm -hmm. and find um, certain vulnerabilities uh, vulnerabilities that you're interested in. As a matter of fact. Um, um, there is an open source project called SEMGRAP, um, okay. which uh, scans tool uh, scans code statically, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's so flexible that it allows you to write your own rules. Mm -hmm. So you can write your own rules on what you believe that would be the next vulnerability, clone a bunch of repos that you're following, identify if there are any vulnerabilities that you can find that no one else found yet, and report on them either as an issue as a pull request. If you create pull requests, that's phenomenal, yeah. right? Uh, and it can, if you can script your way to do that, it's even better. There's a guy um, that, uh, uh, his name is Jonathan. I forgot his last name. Uh, he's on the on the Kaminsky Foundation. Okay. Uh, and uh, he's pretty active in OpenSSF. There is a Slack channel for that. Um, and he actually built a talk on how we opened pull requests at scale for open source mm -hmm. projects when he identified simple things like do you use HTTP instead of HTTPS? Bam, bunch of full requests, right? Yeah. Uh, so so there are ways to build that at scale um, as an interesting project. Um, and um, I warmly recommend doing that. Not everyone will do that, but uh, mm -hmm. that's a way to do that. Mm -hmm. If you ask me this versus certifications, mm -hmm. go towards that direction. Okay. If you need certifications. Can you, you can talk about what 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 certs you especially think are are, are beneficial in, in here? So, um, if you want to be a bit more on the offensive side, uh, try the OCSP. Okay. Um, and if you want to be more on the defensive side and work more with developers, um, I would say go for CSSLP by IS Square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I did the CSSLP. Um, I think it provided me a bit more tweaks where I know that I. Had places to improve, yeah. Um, and I and I was experienced when I did it, mm -hmm. so um, so I think it's it's still beneficial to do that, even if you have a few years of experience and want that certification. Nice. Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from Infosec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind: making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com/free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.